Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Saturday, April 11th, 2020. This is my Markets A Look Ahead segment. It's out a day early. Let's talk about what's going on here. Um, number one, number one. I covered this on Friday, but I really want this to sink in because I am getting slammed with... Uh, People with very good intentions are sending me information on the market, what they believe is going to happen. But what they're doing, what most of you are doing who are sending me this information, is you're relying on the old paradigm. This is a new ball game across the board. Nothing that used to work, let's say two months ago, can work now. So we need to clear our head of what we thought we knew. Why? Never before ever in history has the New World Central Bank, formerly known as the Federal Reserve, bought every single aspect of the debt market. There's not one aspect of the debt market that they're not buying. This, this is unprecedented and it's going to have profound effects on the market, on corporations which cannot fail. Understand, they are being absolutely backstopped because the Federal Reserve is buying corporate debt. They're buying junk bonds. They're buying municipal debt. They're buying treasuries. I mean, you name it, they're buying it all. They're buying debt derivatives. I mean, you could go on and on. Now, the Federal Reserve, <laughs> they're funneling cash to the Wall Street banks to buy stocks. They're buying large cap stocks to keep the market propped up. I believe they're going to start bleeding this out to not just large cap stocks, but uh, other companies as well and corporations. This is a game that they're playing here. The market that we have now is completely new, absolutely new. So again... Whatever you thought you might have known, let's say the market is going to do this, if this happens, you know, no, it can't happen like that anymore. So we cannot rely on any old models. It's that simple. We can't say, oh, the market is going to retest the, the recent lows. How do we know that now? Because we've never seen this before. We cannot say that anymore. I am sorry. Do not put a target on this market to the upside or to the downside because it's completely taken over uh, in this new America, this new government philosophy. It's incredible. But a lot of people still locked into the old paradigm. Get it out. Get it out of your head. Now, with that said, we got this, uh, this failure of a deal which the president is trying to work out here to prop up crude oil. The president knows how important crude oil is to this market. Okay, crude oil is important to OPEC, uh, oil producers. They, they want to make more money here. There's no doubt about it. And the president seems hell-bent on making sure that OPEC nations, you know, are able to profit uh, even bigger than they are already from crude oil. Uh, obviously, he's working together. This is about the petrodollar we know that's kind of in our face so again this 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 supposed deal so far <laughs> it's a joke uh 10 million barrels even if it were 20 million it's not going to help in this environment um so they got to come up with a new scheme to prop up crude oil so i don't know what they're going to do how they're going to make it work um, but I believe they're going to try at least to keep it propped up. Um, it, it's a crime in progress in my view. Why should crude oil be propped up like everything else? Shouldn't we at least have one thing that the market is allowed to price uh, at fair value? Again, the market today, every single aspect of it is outrageously... Uh, outrageously fake um, no price discovery mechanism at all it's managed just like a communist nation uh, and that's what we have here it seems to me that an unbelievable amount of greed has now taken over the market 
um, it's not allowed to have natural cycles anymore. The market can only go in one direction. Although we are thousands of points off of the recent high where I told all of you I pulled my cash out of the market. I mean, I nailed it to the day. To the day. Best call I ever made. You all know that. And I, I, I hope I was able to help a lot of you with that. And I know for a fact that's true because I've heard from so many of you. Anyway, let's move forward here. Um, so we got this issue with crude oil. They're going to try to prop it up. We have the issue of the bond market. The bond market is still flashing red across the sky. So it, it, in my view, the real issue is the debt market, and I don't believe there's enough cash that the Federal Reserve, the New World Central Bank, can throw into the black hole to fix it. I don't think there's enough, no, no matter what they do. So, I mean, going back to that real quick, uh, the debt market, the 10-year yield, we really got to keep our eye on the 10-year yield. Let's put this together real quick before I move on. If they can manage to prop up crude oil here, if they can manage to stabilize uh, the 10-year yield, push it higher, stocks are going to go up. Stocks are going to go up in this environment here again with the fed buying every aspect of the debt market funneling cash not just to the wall street banks but around the world the fed is actually helping other nations other central banks with a repo scam just like they're doing here if you don't believe me look it up for yourself the central bank of the world is the federal reserve they are the most powerful organization by far on the planet now and it is being done by design the federal reserve dollarizing the entire world um, they are without any doubt the new world central bank in absolute control control is what it's all about it's always been about control here and some something very very ugly is going on the president of the united states donald trump said this verbatim the amount of applications for loans from small businesses his words far exceeded what they expected well i think that's a pretty large miscalculation from the president of the united states and the fact that he admitted that i think he kind of deserves a little credit honestly that he admitted that their applica the applications for from small businesses that are suffering far exceeded expectations i wouldn't expect him to say that unless it was a slip of the tongue so what he's telling you is small businesses are getting crushed again i covered this recently corporate america the corporations have for years wanted to get rid of the mom and pop shops in corporate war rooms around the world, well, especially here in the United States, <laughs> and this is an around-the-world phenomenon too, it is, has been discussed that there are too many, there are too many small businesses that are competing with the large corporations. So it seems, and as you know, this new America has chosen winners. They want the corporations to succeed. They want the mom-and-pop shops to go away. This is the merger of corporate America and this new America. Fascism, period, the end. They're going to destroy, by design, many, many small businesses. Um, and they're going to drag it out. Uh, you know, I'm already hearing from business owners. I already told you, I know personally people who are closing forever. Thank goodness it's not an overwhelming amount. But closing nonetheless. People are writing to me saying, Greg, I can't get any help. The process is really horrible, blah, 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 blah. And, and this is by design as well. We know the, there's already all this talk about the glitches in the system. Steve Mnuchin, oh, we're going to fix it. We're going to make this simple. No, they're not. They have no intention on making it simple. They want to see small businesses go away, probably a lot of medium-sized businesses as well. I mean, let's talk about the Federal Reserve backstop. The Federal Reserve is buying corporate debt. How many small businesses or medium-sized businesses are going to get that kind of a backstop? This new government, this new America is choosing winners, and it is not the mom-and-pop shops. It is not 
medium-sized businesses. Corporations are going to succeed. They will because the Fed's got their back. If you have a world central bank, the most powerful organization in the world that has your back, you cannot fail. Period. Okay, there's no such thing as too big to fail anymore. This is a new system, a new paradigm. Let's talk a little bit more about the debt market. Um, it's a black hole, as you all know. I don't think there's enough cash to prop it up. Um, at one point, we are going to get an uncontrolled sell-off in the debt market. I still believe that. And we're going to see yields spike very rapidly. We're going to see um, a horrible turn of events occur here. And it's going to lead to a human resource problem. Uh, that is the debt bubble which we have hyperinflated, which they have hyperinflated by design. And for now, the Fed can print all they want. They can add digits to a screen all they want. They could funnel cash around the world all they want. They can buy everything all they want without seeing hyperinflation because the world economy is dead. Cash is not moving. There's no money velocity. So you can't have all these extra trillions chasing the same amount of goods. Yet, it will occur when the debt bubble pops. That is still going to occur, in my opinion. It's just beyond the point of where anyone could have ever imagined before. But for now, this is a new paradigm, a new market philosophy, a new government philosophy picking winners, destroying the middle class, wiping them out, taking small businesses all out of the equation here. Um, and what's going to happen in the market is pretty simple. The distortions between the economy, which I've shown you this exact thing, economy and free fall. Actually, it's it's down here. It's way, way on the floor. We're, we're, we're in a deep freeze, a deliberately induced deep freeze. Meanwhile, 0.01% of the global population has this virus, but everything is being blamed on it. Do you see what's going on here? Fear. Make people afraid of one thing and you can control their minds. And that's what's going on. Uh, they're stealing your liberties. They're stealing your freedoms. They're, they've introduced a new government right under your nose, right here, this new America, National Socialism, and you will be a good National Socialist. Believe me, you are going to be a good National Socialist. Um, most people are going to just accept this for what it is, and they don't give a damn. And then there's the real patriots, you and me, who are going to rebel against this system. Uh, the Hugh patriots are going to suck their thumbs They've been sucking their thumbs, both of them simultaneously. While the new government has been installed, they've been shut out. They've been dumbed down. They've been misled. They continue to be misled by very large YouTube channels. Um, and they've been zombified on an epic scale. But there are those, you and I, who are able to see clearly through this entire thing and it's in our face. Have I said one thing in this video that is not in your face absolutely true? Do you see what's going on here? Yeah, we can see it. <laughs> but the oxymorons out there, the Q patriots, they can't see a damn thing. They've been blinded. And uh, unfortunately, that's, that's a historical norm too. The masses, or, or at least portions of the population get blinded large portions to what's going on here. And then there are some, the real patriots, who can see through it all. And it's very, very evident. So let's summarize here. I know this is a long video here. A completely new ball game, a completely new paradigm. We've never been here before, ever, ever, ever. Uh, the Fed is buying it all. Like I explained to you, they were going to do um, this is their end game to be the lender and buyer of last resort. They're funneling trillions of dollars around the world. Wall Street is getting untold amounts of capital to buy the stock market. They have it covered. The Fed now has, has it all covered. Fed buying the debt, Wall Street banks buying the stock, stock market. With regard to crude oil, they got to prop it up. They got to find a mechanism. They got the President of the United States completely puppetized right now. Okay, Mr. President. Do something to prop up crude oil. We need you to do this. I will do it. I will find a deal. You know, that's, that's, he's a puppet. You know that. All presidents are puppets. They are made puppets. 
Period. The end. By those that really rule the world, the one percenters, the true vampires out here. The debt market is a time bomb. We know that. Okay. The 10 year yield must come up. So to summarize once again, if they can get crude oil propped up, if they can get that 10 year yield higher, Wall Street's going to get a big influx of capital very soon. Very, very soon. This is massively stock market positive. So again, Wall Street getting a big influx of capital. If they can push crude higher, if they can stabilize the 10 year yield and move it up, stocks are going to go higher substantially despite, despite the economic freeze that we are in right now. Um, despite tens of millions of people losing their jobs around the world, over 17 million in the United States alone in the last three weeks. This is historic. We've never seen this before, not even during the Great Depression. All right, look, very long video. I covered a lot of things here. I want to hear from you. I will read the comments. Um, and please share this video. Please get it out there. It's, it's not hard to do. Let people hear these things because I can promise you they're not going to hear this anywhere else. This guy loves you. Uh, I'll see you Monday morning unless something drastic happens. And I am out of here.